Good morning, first graders. It is May 12th today, and as you can see, I'm wearing my School of the Year West Hill Mustang Blue and Yellow with my shirt and tie. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Let's do our number corner. So before I turn my calendar marker, let's look at a couple patterns, and I want you to notice the colors. So let's see. It goes orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, orange. We have two types of patterns. We have continuing patterns and repeating patterns. This one is a repeating pattern because the colors start to repeat. So can you predict what color will be next? Orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, orange, purple, purple, yellow, yellow, orange, purple. And remember the diagonal patterns. There are three types of cards. There are some cards that have word problems, and I'll zoom in a little bit. There are some cards that have arrows, and then there are some cards that have 120 grid pieces, uh, pictures of the 120 grid. So we know there are three types of cards, and look for a pattern with that. Well, I noticed a diagonal pattern, so I predict it's going to be a purple card and it's going to be arrows. And remember, when the arrows are up, we are taking away 10 or subtracting 10. When it's to the left, we're subtracting one. When the arrow's to the right, we're adding one. And when the arrow is down, we're adding 10. So we're keeping track of the patterns. We're following little Tad along as he hops along the 120 grid. And I know it's going to be arrows because I'm smart and I study patterns. This is a repeating pattern. A continuing pattern would be a pattern like a different color every time, or if a color did not repeat, it would be a continuing pattern. This is repeating, so I am able to predict, and I know it will be purple. So let's see what our card looks like, and let's track Tad as he hops along. Oh, there are a lot of arrows there. So I have three arrows down and one arrow to the right. And remember, I'm starting at the number 35. That's where we left off. I know that I'm going to be adding three tens, and then I'm going to be adding one as well. So let's go to our 120 grid and three arrows down, three tens, one, two, three, and then one more. So what number is Tad on now? He is on the number 66. So let us fill out our date today. It's the fifth month, the 12th day. Now, what number did we start on? We started on 35, and I'm back to the highlighting. I don't know why it's doing that to me. So we'll start with 35, and we added how many tens? Three of them, so that's 30. And then how many ones? One, one. So let's write it this way. 31 plus, or 35 plus 31 equals, what number did we end at? 66. So that will be our number here, 66. Tad is on 66 today. We'll see what he does tomorrow. And let's go to our coins. A penny is one, a nickel is five, a dime is 10, and a quarter is 25. So how much is a quarter? It's 25. Now we'll add another quarter, and you will notice what? How many quarters do we have? Four quarters and one dollar. You know what's another way of saying that? We can now regroup and we have how much money? Two dollars. So every time we get four quarters, we can change them out for two dollars because four quarters is the same as one dollar. So now how do we write two dollars? We write it this way with the dollar sign. Or you can say I have 200 cents. It's the same thing as $2. So let's write our equation 100 plus 100 because each dollar is 100 cents. So I have one $2. 100 plus another 100 equals 200. We have $2. We'll collect another quarter tomorrow. And last, we have our days in school. It's the 151st day of school. So let's break this into hundreds, tens, and ones. We should know our place value by now. So we know that this number here is the ones place. That number there, the five, is in the tens place. And then we have 100. So if we break it into hundreds, tens, and ones, it would look like this. 100 plus 
five tens plus one one is the same as 151. Pay close attention to your place value. Keep on watching Number Corner and have a wonderful day. And I'm going to stop the video.